So right before we actually get into this video, I just want to mention that we have merch. I obviously got the black one here, but the gray colorway looks fantastic. And I would just say go check it out. The link is in the description. The 2021 season is coming up and there's snow everywhere. And so now I'm pretty much only ever thinking about the season, just wanting to play. And so part of that is also messing around with all my gloves a lot and stuff like that, just dreaming about playing. And so it only makes sense to do a what's in my baseball bag video for the 2021 season today. So this is my bag. Um, it is a very just average, like, I don't know, duffel bag type thing. Is that called a duffel bag? I don't actually know. Got to put Jesus on the other side. So this is my bag. In here is hats, gloves, batting gloves, some sleeves, just different, you know, different things for everyday use. But before I even go into that, I'm quickly gonna show you my other bag that I have to bring with me. So this is a little camera bag. Um, this is for my equipment for our videos because what we do is we actually have these mic'd up videos. So I play in a slow pitch softball league, which if you've never played slow pitch softball before, it's a ton of fun. And so we do mic'd up games and it's a ton of fun to do, first of all. And we only actually have two videos out of that right now. The first one's just okay. The second one's a little bit better. And now I have a good grasp on like how to best do these videos. And I'm super pumped for the season to come around because these videos are going to be great. And I would just go ahead and join now because I think these videos are what's going to make this channel shoot off. So in here is a camera. Now, honestly, this isn't even the camera that I actually record with because I'm recording with my camera right now. But I've got like a Sony a6100 that I'm recording with and then some random accessories. But some of the key things, the mic, this is key. I mean, this is what makes the videos good, what makes them fun to watch is being mic'd up. And so that's one thing in here. Couple of bad GoPros. This one's like a fake GoPro, actually not that bad. And then this is just an older GoPro. I'm considering actually adding these in too for this season so that we have a second camera angle, which would be really sick. This is like a battery pack for my camera. This is just like a charger. Now, before I actually get into the important stuff of what we'll be bringing to all of our games, I'm actually gonna show you really quickly. These next few things are stuff that we had in our bag last year that won't be there this year because we have better stuff. So the worst one, this Rawlings Heritage series, it's like 12 and a half inches and I would bring it along because it's a good, loose, just cheap, broken in glove for like anyone to use. Um, it honestly sucks and I kind of just hate it, but I got it at Goodwill for like $3. So another glove that's gonna be retired, my 44 Signature Series. This was actually what I used two years ago. Two years ago, this was my gamer. I love this thing, it's a JP11. It's just too short for really anybody to use other than like a middle infielder. And so it's staying at home. And then here we go, the last one that I'm retiring. This is last year's gamer, which I absolutely love this glove. It's my favorite 44 that I own. Man, I probably say that about like three different 44s. They're all somehow my favorite. <laughs> it's 12 and a quarter dual welting and I used it last season and it was great, but I bumped it up and we're a little bit uh, bigger, one quarter inch bigger this year. So letting this one stay at home. Now we're actually gonna get into our gloves for the 2021 season. In my opinion, the like the gloves that I bring with me are the most exciting part. And I'm like the glove guy on the team. So I have gloves for a few different people that I bring. And so we're just gonna show you them. It's a tight fit in the bag. I'm gonna show you one of my worst ones first. Louisville Slugger, it's like an HD9. I don't know a whole lot about these, but I picked this up for like 20 bucks. So it's a very loose glove, but I'm bringing this one. This one's replacing my Rawlings Heritage Series as just like a junk glove. Anybody can use it. In case just somebody somehow leaves a glove at home, here's this one. And so yeah, this one like really hasn't ever been used. It's the kind of a glove that you can just pick it up and use it right away. It doesn't really need broken in. It would be good to give this more of a form and a pocket, but we'll see. Now here, this Kelly first basement. This thing's kind of cool just because it's uh, a lot less common. You don't see these around a whole lot. The glove itself isn't great. Um, it's not made super well. There's like a lot of separation between like the top and inside palm liner and stuff. But um, my buddy actually has been using this at first for softball. So it's come in handy a lot which is pretty awesome. I actually got this through a trade with Glove Trader 77 on Instagram. Go check them out. Here we go, I love this piece here. Pro 302, so this glove is also from Glove Trader 77. It's beautiful, just the break-in on it is awesome. And so this is also a glove that I bring as um, like a buddy of mine uses it. And so I bring it so that he can use it. 
because he just has like a Walmart glove, so. Here's this buckler, it's 12 and three quarter. It's a steer hide glove. This thing's pretty sick. I mainly just love the looks of it. I do love that like orange tan colorway, but my brother is actually probably gonna be using this this season, which is awesome. I'm really glad to see this get some use. Buckler is awesome and they actually sent me this glove for free because they rock. Um, it's not perfect. You can actually, if you want a more detailed video on that, I have it, go check it out. I kind of gave my just true and honest opinion about it. But yeah, I have this in here for my brother. Now here is this $17.99. This thing is beautiful. It's a Wilson A2K, the super skin on back. I love the break in on it because I broke it in. But this is a glove that right now, I don't think anyone is using it. It's just like a very nice backup glove that I have. I used it like one game last year, but then my brother-in-law used it like the whole season. Beautiful glove. And it's in here just in case someone needs it. Now this, this glove obviously has a very interesting colorway. You can let me know in the comments if you think it's beautiful or hideous. This is the 44 Obsidian Shellback. Um, I actually really like this. I still need to put more work into this. It's not fully broken in yet. I'm probably gonna end up using this for a few games. I intended for this to be my gamer. Something else cooler came along. It's no longer my gamer. Still, I love it. I think it's sick. I love this thing. I've got mine on the side because the glove is mine. Got the cross, got Ruthie Joe on the palm. That's my daughter. But that glove's gonna be there just cause I'm probably gonna end up using it once or twice. Now my gamer for the season actually doesn't go in the bag. I don't like putting my gamer in the bag. I actually carry it on top. But I got this Pro 208. Now this is from Glove Trader 77 I already mentioned him. Again, go check him out on Instagram. Very awesome guy. And he really takes his Instagram account seriously. He's constantly posting. And I'm just glad that I follow him. Now, him and a bunch of other people put money together to get me this Heart of the Hide custom. And it's freaking beautiful. It's navy blue, camel, and mint. It looks awesome. I'm just so pumped to be able to use this this year. Um, I absolutely love the glove. Heart of the Hides are probably overall my favorite like leather type and glove. So I'm pumped to have this. It's 12 and a half inches. And so it's a little bit bigger than last year, which is what I wanted because I wanted to bump it up a little bit. And now if I didn't mention, I'm playing shortstop for our slow pitch softball team. And so 12 and a half seems like it's going to be um, pretty much perfect. So I'm pretty pumped. Okay, now on to some more of the like accessories. I'm quickly going to show you. I have these worn down, beat up New Balance turf shoes and I actually like these quite a lot. They have gotten a lot of use in them. They're kind of ripping up in certain parts around the edges, but when it comes to the grip, they actually have great grip. The only time I'm ever slipping and falling on that turf is on those spots by like second base or third base where there's just a ton and ton and ton of that rubbery, whatever you call it. That's the only time I find myself slipping, which it doesn't really matter what you're wearing. You're gonna slip on that stuff. Okay, so batting gloves. The first thing I see in here are these like Easton Z3s or something like that. I actually have these simply in case anybody needs them, which actually comes up pretty frequently. So people are using these almost every week. Now these are my batting gloves for this season. You can see by the colorway that I was originally gonna be wearing them with this glove, which that really would have actually looked pretty sick in my opinion, but it's really not that big of a deal. I'm still gonna wear these. I like the colorway on it, I'm not gonna lie. That yellow, blue, and pink I think looks awesome. But yeah, these are my batting gloves for this season, um, brand new. Which you guys, I, I actually really like 44's batting gloves and for custom batting gloves, they're actually at a pretty good price. I think it's right about 40 bucks. And so um, if you also wait till a day where they have the sale, um, you can get some sick custom batting gloves for like 30 bucks, great right in my opinion. So with that, I'm gonna keep these in here too because these are my batting gloves from last year. You can see last year, they also kind of matched my glove as they went with that America theme. But here, I'll show you. They're definitely a little stale like all batting gloves get. Um, and kind of stiff, which is kind of gross, but but you can see the kind of wear that they went through. I mean, I played in these a lot. Um, also sliding on the turf, you know, with my heel, the my, is that the heel of your hand? I don't know. That part of my hand, you know, going down into the turf and they, no holes, which is cool. At least I don't see any holes. Confirmed, I don't see any holes. In that pouch is also gonna be my Supreme Taco Bell seeds because these are delicious. Now, our last pouch in the bag, the classic Rawlings visor. Um, I also have my DeMarini visor, and so 
I'm not gonna lie, I love wearing visors. I don't always keep these in the bag. I keep these at home and just choose which one to wear for the day. But stuff I do keep in the bag are gonna be some arm sleeves. I'll show you, I have two arm sleeves here from Be Driven Sports. Now, I don't hate these. I actually really, really liked them until I got a 44 compression sleeve and the 44 one is way tighter. It feels much, much better. These are just pretty loose. One thing I really like about these is they have like the rubber, like grippy thing here on the edge, which is nice because I feel like it holds in nicer. 44 doesn't have that, but overall it's much, much, much tighter and I just like it. It's not like it's overly tight. It just, it's a lot more comfortable. It really does its job, like what a compression sleeve should do. I feel like these Be Driven Sports ones are just like, oh, they look cool and that's really it. Keep those in there and I wear my 44 one. That's the one that I actually wear. Now, my headbands. If I'm not wearing a visor, I'm wearing a headband. I got my 44 headband, it's reversible. Um, I actually love this thing. Um, I love the style. Um, I'm pretty sure they still have them on the website. You can go check them out. And then I got this Nike headband here. I almost forgot. Something very, very important is our bats. Okay, so we bring like four bats. Now, one of them is sort of our practice bat. Our, it's already gone through, I think, like a couple seasons, and so it's pretty much our designated practice bat so we don't overuse our other bat. It's the KP23 Freak. I think this is the 2019 model, and you can see uh, we need to retape it. Uh, the batting grip just kind of died last season, and so we need to regrip it, but um, this is what we're using constantly in practice. This thing's pretty sweet. It's got a super, super wide and big sweet spot. I enjoyed hitting with it. It's not my favorite bat though. We also have, now this is for in-game use. This is the KP23. I think this is the 2020 model. Um, this thing's sick. It's very, very similar to the other one. And it's got that big wide sweet spot and I love it, but it's not my favorite. Now this is like my favorite bat. So so this is the Dale Brungart. I think that's how you say his name. Um, it's like his signature bat. Um, it looks pretty sweet, but I just love hitting with this thing. Much smaller sweet spot, but holy cow, when you square it up, this thing launches the ball. And so uh, this is my favorite bat. Um, hit all my dingers with it, no big deal. Now, I'm pretty pumped about this. I haven't swung with it yet, so I don't 100% know, but this is probably gonna be my favorite bat this season just cause it looks sick. This is the Nautili end load. And now this thing uh, is gonna be hot. Very similar to that other Demarini. This thing is just gonna crush the ball. And you can see um, not only is that colorway on that just beautiful, but we also went ahead and actually re-gripped it with some lizard skin that matches it and boy it looks good my favorite thing about these bats these two Marini ones is going to be that my favorite thing about this bat and that other Marini is going to be the knob here the knob is pretty small and i just love being able to wrap my hand around it there at the bottom that's simply it i don't think we're missing anything that's everything i bring and again, those mic'd up moments are gonna be pretty sweet. Um, so go ahead, subscribe, and I'm super pumped for those. So 2021 is gonna be a big year for our channel. I think that's it. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate all of your time and commitment to me. My channel without you guys I would never make it far Thank you from the bottom of my heart Please thank you all and have a nice